welcome back to Fred in the Shed, a TEF 6686 personal stereo radio. Did I clickbait you? I did a bit. Apologies. Because although it's the smallest, it is the smallest TEF radio that I've ever seen, it's still not a personal stereo because obviously you put it in a pocket, <laughs> you've, got, you've got to have the antenna up or you've got to run a wire somehow all around you. Um, so there isn't such a thing as a shortwave personal stereo. This is about as near as we get to it. It is incredibly small and it's fully functional as a TEF radio. Are there compromises? Yeah, there certainly are. Have they gone a bit too far in places to minimize this? Yeah, I think they have. I'll show you all that in the review. Let's get it on the bench and have a closer look because it is an extremely interesting looking radio. Not even gonna talk about an unboxing experience because there just isn't one. All you get is a very plain cardboard box and yeah, okay, a functional but cheap looking USB-C lead. So no, no point in even talking about that. Radio itself though, I mean, I'm gonna give credit where it's due, okay? Because they have done it. They have got the ESP32 TEF6686 chip in a very small format here. As I say, the smallest format that I have yet seen. And yes, it is one of these kind of acrylic cut, laser cut, um, it's not 3D printed, it's acrylic cut cases. And it does look a little bit homebrew and it does have protective film, which you could remove or you can leave on. But in a way that's kind of quirky. I, I think it gets away with that, with this multi-layer case. It does, nothing else looks like this radio and it is fully functional. It is. I can prove that. We'll just extend the antenna on medium wave, whack up the volume. Your eyes are easy. So easy, a baby could do it. Though babies can't invest. They certainly wouldn't have any use for our low-cost investment platform. Or the coordination So it is a fully functional radio. And there is the screen. It's super sharp on this radio. Um, unfortunately, what it doesn't have, though, is a touch screen. And that's one thing I think that straight away lets it down. Because especially with something that's so small it would be so easy just to change the uh, tuning, change all of the settings in the touchscreen. What you have is menu systems. So we go into menu here, for example, like the bandwidth setting, things like that. And again, you can't click OK. You, it's a bit old fashioned, it's a bit something like maybe 10, 15 years ago, you have to go through, go through the settings. So yeah, it would have been nice if they'd done a touchscreen. Let me zoom in, we'll have a closer look. Even though it hasn't got a touchscreen, it's still, relatively easy to operate. I mean, if you wanna go into manual tuning, for example, we just um, press the mode there, we go into manual, and then you just press the encoder, and that gets you to the tuning digit that you want. You can, of course, do it by automatic search, just go into auto, and then the radio will just search. We won't get very much up here without the antenna pulled up. And there we go. The three main controls are just set on top of the radio there. I've got no problem with them. And all of the options that you would normally get on a TEF radio are all in here. And you just hold down the mode switch. And there they are. There's your main settings. Use the encoder here just to go through it. So display settings once again. I mean, it's so configurable, this radio. I, I've gone for this um, white outlook on the on the display there. I, I personally th I like, I think that suits the radio, but you can change it to black or orange or green or whatever you want. And once again, you've got all the RDS settings. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a radio enthusiast dream. It is so configurable and you can spend a long time in the menu system. No problem with that at all. As far as the case of the radio, it's a sandwiched acrylic affair, clear acrylic there. It's a little bit kind of, um, well, Kickstarter if you like. Can we get in focus there? Quite like the back of it. It's got a nice printed uh, sort of section. It's held together with little torque screws. I, th I think it's okay actually. I, I do think it's okay. We've got USB-C. We do have a headphone socket. Sorry we're out of focus, aren't we? We do have a headphone socket, which we will need that and I'll explain that in a moment. Then we've got the speaker, speaker just there. The only thing I will say is obviously because it is so open, you're gonna get um, dirt and dust 
go into the radio itself and there's no waterproofing at all. So it's not a radio you, you're gonna use, gonna use outside. Little, say little encoder there for the tuning. And then we just push it to select things. Um, feels okay, feels maybe a little bit loose compared to some of what we've been testing recently, but yeah, it feels okay. Now then, a couple of things that I don't like. When we come down to the volume here, and also the squelch, I actually thought, when I opened this, I looked in the box, I thought that maybe something had fallen out. I thought there may be a little uh, plastic, clear plastic slider went, went on these controls because these are basically open pots, potentiometers, they're just open. And what you're, what you're actually sliding is the um, potentiometer straight on the rails there. So it's, it's not very well finished, is it? I, I kind of think that there should be something on top of there like a little uh, slider or something. I mean, it, they do work. I'll give it credit for that. And they are quite smooth, um, but it just looks unfinished. It looks very unprofessional. And as I say, because these are open rails and there's no slider knob, any dirt is gonna go straight into that potentiometer there. And I've had trouble with these sliders before. Um, they, they get very scratchy very quickly. So yeah, I don't like that. In all competitions without as far as the volume goes for the speaker, it is a little bit quiet. I mean, you're not going to get much. It is a little tiny like laptop speaker. Sorry, we're out of focus here. Just a little tiny laptop speaker. So it isn't going to go particularly loud. It's probably loud enough just for general use. Um, you'd expect this to be a really tight case. But I would have liked maybe a slightly cool. larger speaker. Could be a little bit louder in my opinion but of course you do have a headphone socket and as it's such a small radio it might be a radio that you're going to be using with earbuds or headphones there's no bluetooth as far as i'm aware i haven't seen it in the menu system uh, there's no bluetooth to bluetooth headphones so you are stuck with the little three and a half inch headphone jack Good thing is that the radio does come with a detachable antenna. It's a little mini, there's nothing wrong with this at all. It's about a 50 centimeter little mini flexible uh, stainless steel whip, but we have got a female SMA. So we can attach any antenna that we like to this radio. Persians were the main point of discussion. Shots show an unidentified flying object. Drone wall idea divisive and urged Europe. An idea to use frozen Russian assets to support Ukraine. Ukraine remained the most pressing issue, and Denmark will host more. That's all to look forward to shortly after half past two. But first, we join the flawless Adam Walker, who we've been hearing the last few days on Say the program. Storm Amy will bring damaging winds. And in sport, Celtic fans have called off a planned silent protest in our medical regulatory systems. BBC News. It wasn't clear um, who had responsible responsibility for planning for children, if anyone, um, nor what options. Twenty degrees. From Global's newsroom for LBC, I'm Dominic Ellis. That's his main. It's all right, Ed. I did ask Anna. It's for George. I thought I could clap them into a bracelet for him. Oh. Oh, that's a, that's a really nice idea. Uh, sorry, Amber. I should have mentioned it. You'll like that. Yeah. Let's confirm his condition at that point. As time went on, paramedics arrived at the scene to tend to injured members of the public. Shortly after midday, police confirmed two people had died, and a th while that third person, believed to be the suspect, is also presumed dead. Across London, this is Bally Brambat on Like a Gold. 
<laughs> it's a little TikTok. Darker shade of grey. Cheats. Darker shade of grey. No, that was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, but looked fine. Radio Christian Radio. What a great way to start a brand new hour. My name is Craig, filling in for Josh uh, today, as I have been doing all. A pressure tactic uh, by the president, essentially saying uh, to Democrats, "Come to the table here, or we will resume cutting down the size of the, the federal workforce, and it will be your fault." And the Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer has said that Donald Trump has admitted himself. France tomorrow, and we're going to France, so we're worried about that too. Get a copyright strike, won't I? So there you go. There it is. What do we think of it? Well, it's there's something different, isn't it? It's quirky. It's one of those radios that obviously aren't going to appeal to everybody, but I think it probably would appeal to people that collect radios because people do. <laughs> Look around me. People do end up collecting radios. And this one certainly is something a bit different. Things... Um, I like about it, very nice sharp clear screen and just the, the form factor, it's just so small basically and uh, it sounds really really nice on headphones as well. I wish the speaker, yeah it's, it's alright but I wish the speaker was a little bit louder, maybe if they'd have had room, I don't know if they could have fitted maybe another speaker and we'd have had stereo. I think that's just the the uh, Tef chip could handle stereo. I mean, yeah, maybe they couldn't do it because of the size restraint. Um, I wish it had a touch screen. I think I, I do think the I, these Tef radios are so nice to use when they've got a capacitive touch screen. Again, I suppose it's cost. It's just keeping the cost down. This isn't really an expensive radio, but I think one thing that I don't forgive them for is the lack of any sliding knobs there on those uh, little pots. Um, it just looks unfinished to me. Just a nice white acrylic little um, knob. If I was a bit clever, I do have a 3D printer, but I, I, I don't use it. So I don't know how to use it, but I mean, I'd, I'd try and print something just to finish that off. It's a little, it looks, it's a little bit cheap, a little bit unfinished. But other than that, it's, um, it's certainly very quirky. If you're interested in this radio, there is a link in the description. You go away, check it out. It came in from Banggood. Um, I've been working for Banggood for ages. I get a good discount from Banggood. So if any, any of you wanted to purchase the radio, make sure you use the link below and then you add my discount code and you'll save some money. It'll be postage free, I think, as well, because it's probably above, above the amount you have to spend. And that's it. As always, I'd like to thank you for your view time. Cheers for dropping by. I do appreciate you uh, doing so. And of course, I'll catch you on the next video. Stay safe. See you later. Cheers. Friends in the shed Where the magic unfolds Fred in the shed With his trusty CB He's a friend to the lonely on a frequency.